Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Genshin Impact reaction video. And um, I don't know what I'm about to watch right now. So I was editing the Golden Apple Archipelago content for 1.6 for the Time Capsule YouTube video on, on the channel. And uh, a bunch of my mods messaged me last night and they were, Arnold, whatever you do, do not go on YouTube, do not go on Twitter. And so I basically have been social media dark for the last like 15 hours or so. And MiHoYo have gone off the deep end. They have dropped version 3.0 uh, drip marketing and apparently a new trailer that is so fucking hyped that we have over 1,100 people live here at twitch.tv forward slash murder of birds. Link in the pinned comment and description down below. But uh, I have no fucking clue what they could possibly have dropped that have y'all like foaming at the mouth for my reaction. Even when I went live, people were like, did he watch it yet? Did he watch it yet and i'm like what the fuck did they do like i wasn't even planning on streaming today so shout out big humongous ginormous fucking shout out to my mods they are as precious as gold Aunt Harry's black grim lord and anthony emerald big shout out to these three they went ahead and made me a google doc so that way i stayed away from youtube so i stayed away from twitter they made me this google doc for me to go through what Hoyoverse has shown without being spoiled on anything. So this is going to be my first reaction to seeing all of this stuff uh, for the first time. They say, watch this trailer first. After this, the slide on the side will reveal what is next, which I'm assuming it's the drip marketing. So the Dendro characters or, you know, the, the, the new weapon, the new characters, their moveset, their fighting style, whatever the case might be uh, for what Sumeru is going to give us, which is pretty much confirmed to be the next patch. So we're jumping right over 2.9. So big shout out. They've done this for me for weapons and artifact lore you know we've been doing weapons and artifact reading they made an entire google doc system for me to go through that in reading order like my curated experience is so buttery smooth because of them and i just really appreciate it i appreciate all of you guys being super patient and uh considerate not spoiling not being you know super antsy like too antsy to the to the point of it, like annoyance uh for my reactions of all of these and i just really appreciate the community overall um, Genshin has been a really awesome experience for me to be able to get into for the last almost two years at this point. And, uh, you know, we still have a lot of stuff to cover before Sumeru comes out and then Sumeru coming out's big. Uh, you know, we have a lot of hype and anticipation, a lot of breadcrumbs we've gotten over the last year. But with all of that said, uh, I'm going to click this link. We're going to check out whatever this trailer is and, uh, we'll talk about it most likely. I don't know how long I'm going to talk about it. Depends on what it is. We'll get into the drip marketing and all of that other stuff following, but thank you guys for the support support appreciate it if you guys are on youtube please be sure to thumbs up the video leave a comment down below as usual and uh we will see what this is okay uh watch first the trailer with the link below all right so tavat chapter interlude wait what wait we got another tavat chapter oh <laughs> wait yo Tavat prologue was goaded. Tavat chapter interlude teaser, a winter night's lazo. What the fuck is this? Okay, hold on. I gotta have closed captions on. Thumbs up, Hoyoverse. Y'all are popping off right now. A winter night's lazo? So is this about the, the Saritza? Okay. Holy fuck. It's four and a half minutes. <laughs> We're gonna be watching this. Three, two, one. Now, let me know how the audio is, chat. Ho yo! Oh, La Senora? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There was a little bit of lag. I had to delete something on my screen. Dude, that's that's the butterflies in, in Rosalind's boss fight. Oh, no. Wait, is this symbolizing that she died? Oh, no. Oh! The sages think themselves to be on. Sages Sumeru? But we alone are wise to the oh! in those the harbingers jongli's gnosis war, not even a single Venti's gnosis be spared <gasps> because on this chest board, <gasps> checkmate is not oh senora was a pawn oh my fucking christ all of them Who the fuck is this? We are gathered here today to remember <laughs> our dear comrade. In honor of her sacrifice. Oh, she actually is dead? Work should hold for half a day as the nation mourns her passing. Half a day off? 
Jesus. Nearly half a day. <laughs> People say the Northland banks oh my treat God. Since in tears. Who is this man? The mayor, even speaking as a banker, that sounds a little unconscionable. Rosie All of the harbingers! But you heartless businessmen and dignitaries always with a convenient excuse to remain. Oh my god! Please let all of them be playable! Are we gonna see Zotori? So why don't you keep your mouths shut? We still want to make the children cry. Hey, come on. Shut up! Even oh my god! Right Dude, we need that outfit! Utterly risible. Who are oh dude that looks Though like her methods tarnished her honor. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, I'm literally losing my fucking mind right now. I literally cannot process what is happening. There's too much shit happening. This guy looks like a robot. I'm calling it right now. He's a fucking Fontaine, like robot, like mercenary thing. He literally looks like a freaking <laughs> he literally looks like a big daddy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we're getting... Okay, I'm gonna go through it all at once and then we'll run it back. Hold on. Oh. Actually, hold on. He actually kind of looks like a ruin machine. He... Wait, he's actually a Conrium machine with a top hat. <laughs> they actually have Conria tech in their midst. That's crazy. The ball. Though her methods tarnished her honor. Where's the Sarita? We gonna to sacrifice is a great pity. This guy looks sick. Her loss shall not hinder our progress. Oh, I like the voice acting. But Dottori. Dottori, please! With a Scaramouche and the Gnosis from Inazuma. <gasps> oh, they went AWOL? Conventional wisdom holds that divine knowledge cannot be rationally comprehended. Who are all these people? After conquering the divine gaze, he will make his next move. Divine gaze. Oh, is that the jester? He's talking about Scottamouche. And in The Unreconciled Stars, Scottamouche mentioned like, oh, the jester must have known that I would come to know this secret. Like, because he was like, oh, you know, the, 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 the giant hoax. Or is this Dotore? Wait, that's Dotore? No fucking way. What the hell happened to this man? He does not look like he does in the manga. They gave this man the drip of a century. What? He got longer hair. Yo, I just want to say real quick, it's been over a year since I've read the manga. So I don't remember that he had those earrings and he got rid of his cool fucking mask Did it? Oh, I, I don't remember if his mask broke in the manga or if he just decided to get a new one I'm like baffled that that's actually him like I'm dead ass like what the fuck they just made this man hot Even though he looks cryo. He looks like like the icy blue. He literally looks like he's a cryo character Rationally comprehended and this is the first time we're hearing his voice fuck man After conquering the divine gaze he his next move. Scaramouche, he might come it's back. It's time to end tonight's foolish theatrics. Right now, you have no capital. Oh audience. my! Who is this? He looks like he's actually from Conria, right? The mask, like Kaya and fucking uh, Dane's Leaf. His eye kind of has like that starry bottom piece. Bro, what the fuck? Even people from Conria are siding with the Sarita against Celeste. I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. But like the same accent, right? The, 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 like the beige accent, the black, the blue. That's literally Kaya eye patch. That's Dane's Leaf mask. I just don't know who any of these people are besides the ones we've already seen. Like we know names, but I don't know who to associate a name with. It's time to end tonight's foolish Oh my theatrics. god. <laughs> right now you have no captive audience. Look at this guy! Let every worthy sacrifice be carved in ice. All of them! nation endure for all time. Where's the Tsaritsa? In the name of her majesty the Tsaritsa, we will seize authority from <laughs> the gods. Yo! They literally declaring war against Celestia right now. This is fucking crazy, bro. That's Zeppo only Arni pa Palace. Peace. Such is the gift from the Tsaritsa. Such <laughs> is her majesty's <laughs> Yo, they're hyping this lady up so much! Now you rest in this coffin, encased in layer upon layer of ice. Yeah, but Rosaline, Rosaline. I promise you, your final resting place will be the entirety of the old world. 
Bruh. I wonder if that's the first Fatui who recruited her, right? Because wasn't she found by the first, fa the, it's like the first Fatus or whatever it's called? I wonder if that's, if that's, if he's the first Fatui. This music is absolutely like. I must say, you're looking very young today, doctor. Oh my God. You know very well <laughs> that I do not take that as a compliment. Doctor? So. Where's the segment in the prime of his life, then? Segment? Whoa! Hmm. He's busy with... Wait, is this Sumeru? A little experiment in blasphemy. Dotori and Sumeru! <sighs> oh! Who's oh, this? Kali! Oh! Uh, okay, Master Tori! Ah! Oh my god! Kali's in the game! Who was that? She's in the game! No way! Bro, Kali is in the okay, game! Master Tignari! Oh my goodness. She looks so grown up. She looks so grown up, dude. I cannot believe me, Hoyo really just dropped this on us on a fucking Monday. She's voice acted and everything. She's green as fucking grass, man. Dendro confirmed. <laughs> Is she gonna be okay? So I assume, I assume. Who 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 is this person? Tignari. She's got a dendro vision. Nice. Okay, so I'm expecting this master Tignari and Kali to be the the drip marketing characters then. Um, which is weird because usually it would be like. I mean, at least what they've shown in the past. Ayaka was the character that was showcased in the preview trailer, and she was the first on the banner, I believe, when when 2.0 came out. So I'm surprised that it might not be Sino that we haven't seen Sino. But the significance here, please read the manga. Please read the manga before you start Sumeru. It's actually like important now for like context sake. It's 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 relevant now because Dotori was in the manga, Kali was in the manga, Sino was in the manga, and they had a run in with each other so he's burning fucking the tree of life in sumeru it seems and then kali wakes up and it's like yeah the past is coming back to haunt you wow i was not expecting this at all triple crowning her c6ing her day one no questions asked i don't give a fuck how she plays i don't give a fuck about any like i i'm triple crowning her i have the three crowns already i'm triple crowning her and i'm c6ing her day one no questions asked i'm so i'm so happy mihoyo didn't fuck it up because they could have had her as a manga exclusive character and dotore might be playable he might be a weekly boss oh my god dude my theory all the fatui harbingers are going to be playable at some point r.i.p senora though but a necessary sacrifice for the plot of the game it seems yeah it says your final resting place will be entirely of the old world oh so what that implies is you died in the old world we're creating a new world that unfortunately you will not be a part of unfortunate unlucky yo uh r slash someone go check on r slash senora mains go check and make sure they're okay this is like a fucking kick in the face for them right now i feel so bad <laughs> bad enough they got one shot by the electro archon like eight months ago but then to follow up and be like also she's dead dead and she's not coming back like god damn bro i would hate to be a senora main right now i thought they were gonna show the saritza maybe this is her talking she sounds super young unless it's somebody else you know very well that I do not take that as a compliment. You're looking very young today. You know I don't take that as a compliment. Is Dotori is the doctor old as fuck or something? Like what's going on? No, That's a little weird. The segment in the prime of his life then. The segment. <laughs> He's man's really out here causing <laughs> only you can prevent forest fires unless your name is Dotore. Get it? Blasphemy, heresy, the heretics, knowledge, Sumeru, ignorance. It, it's all connected. Dude. I'm so excited for Kali. She looks a lot different because she's not like wrapped in bandages. I wish they had kept her old outfit, like the one that she wore to Sumeru with Sino. Like she had like her little like wool hat and she had like the brown, like her color scheme and her outfit back then was so cool. That's why I was a little, t I was like, who's this character? Because she looks so different. But obviously time has passed since then. Maybe fingers crossed we'll get that as like the four star outfit change for Kali in the future. She looks so cool in the manga though. Her outfit in the manga is so badass oh my god she's gonna i hope please mihoyo let amber go to sumeru <laughs> or when you do ludi harpastum let fucking kali come back so they can see each other during ludi harpastum again holy smokes i think i lost my voice chat <clears throat> i'm pretty sure i lost my voice
voice. Oh my God. Holy moly. So I'm definitely running that back, right? Oh my God. What an amazing trailer, dude. Wow. 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 Okay. So I'm a big fan of chess pieces and like a chess match when it comes to like a long-term plan in effect. Like another game that did this really well, I, in my opinion, was Kingdom Hearts. They had like the whole chessboard system in play. And uh, I just like the idea that like two opposing sides are making plays and you can almost think of it like a chess match. Like Ozpin and Salem, Xehanor and the seven guardians of light. The fucking Harbingers don't give a fuck about the Traveler or anything. Like they're literally out here trying to get revenge on Celestia. And we're just don't, we don't know what the fuck's going on. And like, there's so many wild cards, right? There's our sister, there's Enjo, there's us. Like, and we just don't know what the truth is. Why do I need to fight Celestia? Why? Because they killed off these people. But like, I don't know if those people deserved it. Like, I'm just here trying to find my sister so we can leave but my sister's making it a little difficult so like in my mind i'm just like i i have no clue so i'll check the description and then i'm just gonna run through the trailer one more time and then we'll check out the slide of uh of what's going on okay wow this is number two trending right now holy fuck no one knows how long it has been since all the fatui last gathered on this winter night people donning masks who have been singing and squabbling fell silent in mournful meditation only then did the halls join the winter sky in infinite silence Silence. Meanwhile, in distant Sumeru, Kali, who has not had dreams for a long time, saw strange visions during her midday sleep. That is interesting, though. I think this is the first Harbinger that's been killed off. So they're just like, all right, let's show some respect for our fellow, like for a comrade of ours passing. It's very interesting how they decided to go. They're like, yo, half a day off. <laughs> like, damn, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah. So distant Sumeru, Kali's having bad. I mean, that ending kind of put that together for me dotore and her have had history dotore and her are gonna cross paths again he's burning like fucking trees and shit like that looks like i don't know what his experiment is i don't know if you know the vegetation or if the trees or the the you know if whatever that is if that's important to the sustainability of that region we don't know anything about it we don't know if they have their own version of like a wind rise tree or frost bearing tree or the grand narukami shrine tree how do they maintain um you know the tataragami if that's a factor in their region kind of like how you know the other regions deal with theirs so i i just don't know what what he's trying to do he's obviously trying to sabotage them yeah the old deku tree yeah the great deku tree yeah I, that, that's that's definitely giving me vibe well it's burned to the ground now unfortunately so dotore will most likely be the harbinger that we deal with in sumeru which is great because it's been a, over a fucking year since i've read the manga and he's only been mentioned in the game once by child during child story quest that he had like that you know that manufacturing plant in uh in liue when you know for the for the ruin guards or whatever so that is huge man please i implore you if you have not read it it's only 16 chapters read the manga it's free i promise it's good all right now more than ever is the best time to read it and what's even cooler is that i'm actually i think my i think my manga readings will start coming out when sumeru comes out so that's just apropos that that lines up because I could have read the manga whenever, and I read the manga before Inazuma came out. So, uh, so yeah, pretty soon I'll be editing my reactions and my read-along session for the manga. If maybe if you guys want to watch that, you guys, can, if you guys want to read the manga, maybe just wait. So it's kind of interesting because basically what Hoyoverse just did was kind of similar to what they did with the Tevat preview chapter, where they leaked or or they revealed like the upcoming regions and some of the characters with those with those regions. And now they're just like, okay, we're just gonna give you. All all of the Fatui that you get to look forward to. You don't know when you're going to see them, but they're showing them us. They're showing us them now versus holding off when, whenever we'll see them in the game. And I think that's important too, because Dotori looks nothing like he does in the manga. Um, unless maybe like, yeah, like we, he wore a mask the whole time. So we never saw what his actual face looked like, but even the mask he wore is very different from the mask he's wearing now. And this man looks like he hit puberty. Like <laughs> he looks like a fucking, a beautiful man versus back then. He, I don't know. He just like, a I don't know. He, he looked normal, but he didn't look like glamified like he does now like yassified or whatever you want to call it but uh yeah like he's got like the longer you know the longer ends of his hair and he's got like the different masks his outfit looked kind of different maybe it was like the cape that he was wearing but i liked his attire he gave off the um, and I, I mentioned it in the manga too but he reminds me of like theatrical performing like villain-esque characters like Jin from league of legends or like alexander cohen from bioshock like these insane theatrical crazy ass dudes but 
but he's obviously a scientist, so it's a little different. The wording is kind of interesting too, because they mention like, oh, where's the segment in the prime of his life? Oh, you're looking very young, doctor. Like, I, I wonder if Dotori's way older than he appears. Um, but anyways, let's let's run this back and 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 look at it with a with a deeper a deeper lens. Holy fuck, dude! This is go this isn't this is gonna be incredible. This is insane. Oh, a delusion side effect to aging. That could be the fact. That could be true. I don't know if Dotori has a vision. I don't remember from the manga, but that that could be a possibility. The uh, the aging effect of the uh, of delusions. So I love the rendition of the the o the instrument like the OST that plays usually when you fight. I think that's Senora's boss music. So I like the rendition of the music that plays here because it's like it's like a somber softer uh version of of senora's like bombastic boss music which i mean makes sense because she's dead now okay so two pawns are down so i don't know if that's signifying maybe senora and for now scottamouche because he's like mia the sages think themselves to be all-knowing but we alone are wise to the virtue in those acts of folly. That quote is interesting because that's almost kind of like what Dainsleaf parallels in the uh, in the Tevat story chapter. The thing is though, right? I'm pretty sure there's a level of corruption within the hierarchy of like the sagehood of Sumeru, right? You have, I think there's like a, a sage council of some sort and there's like different levels. Like you have at the bottom level, people that want to study to be, you know, researchers and join the academia and, you know, go up to the ranks of sage. I think there's one sage that we know by name sage what's the name of the sage that alice knows i forgot the name saga mabe is the name of one of the sages i i'm just assuming that they're referring to the sages of sumeru probably knowing what's happening in the world and anticipating the fatui going after their archon and that subsequent gnosis i i do expect there to be some outliers some bad actors who use their knowledge to their own advantage and you know they cor they're corrupt in that regard but at the same time like the system of every nation i think is to protect the people from celestia more than anything so something like conria doesn't happen again and we've talked about this too especially after we read before sun and moon and enkonomia but essentially like monstat is a land of freedom Mo venti lets his people drink until they're freaking until they're drunk off their ass he lets them do whatever the hell they want and that level of freedom keeps them ignorant to the world around them and the and the truths around them for them getting into trouble zhongli created like the perfect Perfect, like economy system for his people he keeps those people working busy hustling and bustling to make that mora and they're so busy with their commerce and with their economy that they have no time to really like indulge in anything else i would say if there's any nation that is at risk it is the people of sumeru but the thing is the i think how it works is that the sages are willingly being ignorant right you have all of these researchers that go out into the world like soraya alrani hosin Nazafarin, etc., etc. All these Sumeru researchers that we've seen, they're like, oh, I'm working on my thesis. And every time they go to the academia, they're like, oh, my thesis got declined. My thesis got declined because these motherfuckers are so big brain that if they keep ascending, they're going to find answers that they shouldn't find. So I actually do think that like they're ignorant. Their ignorance is bliss to keep the people safe from discovering truths like celestia is not from this world and celestia will fucking nuke you out of the sky if you get too advanced and so on and so forth so yeah so that's why i just feel like sumeru might actually know more than they're letting on but they're keeping the people ignorant for that protect the for, for that level of protection and then Raiden shogun's in the same camp like she was like okay if i keep my people stuck in a perpetual eternity things will never change and if things never change we'll never be in a situation where you know something new will be brought into our you know into our world that can get us into trouble so i think everything is to a degree meant to keep these people in check because Celestia are the, the big cheeses that are calling the shots. So yeah, I think a level of like their ignorance, them thinking that they're smarter than they actually are might be a safeguard for the people more than anything. Um, how that fares when it comes to corruption or anything like that, right? Knowledge is currency in, in Sumeru. I'm not entirely sure, but you know, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, this freaking instrumental is so good. I wonder who, see,
see now the aesthetic of these characters looks incredible i have no idea who this is uh the only thing that i can think of i'm getting like sealy vibes from her like starcasm nick sealy vibes because the red and the black is like melt this is for anybody who plays honkai impact but that's kind of what i'm thinking about in that regard i could be wrong but that's who she the, the blending of hair colors is that's what it reminds me of and i don't really know if we've seen any characters at least i haven't identified any characters yet in genshin that are deliberate crossovers from characters that i've seen so far in honkai for the first four chapters that i've done so we haven't uh, uh, that's a lie. Ride in May and ride in A. <laughs> Besides her, I don't know if there's any other cat. Like, we haven't seen a Kiana. We haven't seen a Bronya. I do think Himiko Murata might actually be the Pyro Archon because she's got Murata as the last name. And we know that the Murata clan in Genshin is a clan of people that have red hair like Lady Vanessa. And so I'm almost positive that Himiko Murata is going to be the Pyro Archon when we get there. Oh, Yai Miko, Yai Sakura. Okay, so there's that too. So I guess Ian Zuma gets a pass at this point. I heard Albedo was referenced after I think Einstein, but I don't think I've seen I no, I've seen Einstein in in Honkai, but briefly. So I think Einstein was used as a as a base for what became Albedo in Genshin. Wendy and Venti, yep, that's another one too. I completely forgot about that. We are gathered here to Oh my god. I just noticed how big this guy's nose and ears are. There's nothing wrong with that. And he has a mustache and a top a big fucking top Today, hat. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's an awesome shot right there with the fucking light glistening on his eye like a fucking monocle man's got a top hat a big nose a mustache an evil mustache like elf ears i wonder if he's like those ears kind of look like Klee's ears. I really hope this man isn't the same like elf species as like Lisa and uh, and Klee. Because then it's like, how long has this man been around? You know, this is incredible, dude. No, I'm so glad I slept, man. I needed all the energy I could get. Like, this is going to be like an hour long fucking reaction video when this goes up on YouTube. No cap. Holy moly. I do love how you see the Fatui symbol on all of them as well. Like, uh, that kind of reminds me of the Pale Flame set, which we haven't read that artifact set yet in game so i don't really know what the lore of that entails but obviously we will get to all of the weapons and all of the artifact lore reading i've already started those streams so it's just cool to kind of see some of those uh some of those iconic artifact symbols on their attire i really like that all work should hold for half a day as the nation mourns her passing <laughs> merely half a day people say the northland bank's true currencies are blood and tears but mayor even speaking of mayor oh my god that's the mayor of Shnezhnaya? see this is the reason why i go back for a second round because my brain is literally fried on the first watch so i just like miss out on all of that shit he's the mayor of Shnezhnaya. but with a nose like that it might as well be called Shnaznaya. yeah there you go <laughs> i'm taking that one all right that, I, that was a, that was an original joke off the dome off the top of my head all right take it or leave it i just want to know what all of their names are like i don't know if he is the jester or if he's sandrone regrader we we know a bunch of the fatui names but we don't know who those names are attached to and now it's even crazier because there are other women that are among the fatui and i'm just like i don't even know your like because they have three names right they have like their stage name like their fatui name they got their nickname and then they have their real name i don't think we know any of their real names but like of the two names i don't really know if i know who any of these people are also he kind of gives me baizu vibes <laughs> like the glass i think it's the like if his hair was green he'd look just like dr baizu Rosaline died in a foreign land but you heartless businessmen and dignitaries always with a convenient excuse to remain in the comfort of your homeland mm. you couldn't hope to understand so why don't you keep your mouths shut Damn. we don't want to make the children cry the children of the orphanage that they use to raise more Fatui. That's still fucked. Hey. Oh, wait. She's not... She's not Arlecchino, is she? I hope not. Arlecchino runs uh, an orphanage that would have children. Oh, my God. Imagine. Oh, my God. Imagine. That one line, you'll make the children cry. I just remembered that Arlecchino is the one that runs the fucking... I forgot what it's called. Like, the name of it. They mentioned, like, one of the NP... Like, the Fatui in... Uh, the Fatui, like, the brother-sister Fatui in the chasm mentioned the name of the, the orphanage, I think. But I forgot the name of it. Oh, House of Hearth. Okay. 
okay house of the hearth okay that's fucking crazy see like i don't know why but when I, I automatically defaulted to oh that's a guy and it makes it even worse because she's a woman and she's raising an orphanage which is of kids but like they are probably the ones that put those kids in those situations to be raised as fatui for their army for the sarita so it's kind of fucked up when you think about it still damn bro child fuck his delusion outfit fuck his freaking uh, is his final form outfit we need this costume asap we need this costume as soon as possible and mihoyo has a track record now so from the barber jean outfit to the ningguang kaching outfit to the now official and diluc outfit it's been roughly five to six month time gap so i think we can expect two outfits for a four one for a four star one for a five star every five to six months so i really hope child gets a new outfit i wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't get one or if anyone of the harbingers doesn't get one until we get to shneznaya unfortunately because i don't really know when child will be relevant for one down the road especially since he already had his time to shine in liwe and then you got these two you got another fuck it so at first i thought this was like one of the steampunk like fontaine like tinkerers like or whatever like whatever machinery that they could possibly be making in in that region but like when you look closer you see like the ruin like the runes on its body which look very very similar to the runes and like even the color scheme similar to that of ruin graders ruin hunters ruin guards so this is another ruin type it looks like it's it's like a companion for this woman here so that's interesting you know it kind of reminds me of like lumine how lumine like walked through like tevat with that one ruin guard that carried her the whole way through honestly she reminds me of uh of bob from overwatch because he's like a robot assistant for ash i think it's her name right that's ash so like that's who he reminds it's like this is like bob and this girl so i don't know if they're just gonna be a two-in-one character down the road that'd be kind of cool maybe that will be her elemental burst is like her companion bob do something utterly risible though her methods tarnished her honor loa falter's sacrifice is a great pity loa falter her loss shall Here's another thing too that I just realized. I remember when we went to Dragon Spine, we found like these little letters throughout the island. I think it mentioned like the person who was left behind. He was like, oh, I heard that there's a nation being created without with completely with humans without any gods. And I wonder if that person either joined or if they eventually joined the Fatui. Cause it, I, I, I like it's it's from Saul Vindagner. I think it's Emun Lauker. I think that's his name, right? I think it's Emun Lauker was like a survivor of Solvin Dagnir, which is which was a civilization that was struck down by Celestia, which would give them more than enough reason to want to join the Harbingers if they are in fact going against Celestia now. So in that respect, I wonder if one of these people is Emon Lauker from back then. And I really want it to be this guy. That's the, that's basically what I'm getting at. This guy just sounds so fucking cool. But to Tori, what of Scaramouche and the Gnosis from Inazuma? Conventional wisdom holds that divine knowledge cannot be rationally comprehended. Ah, so basically what he's implying there is like whatever Scott Amush knows, there's no way we can possibly understand what he's going through. After conquering the divine gaze, he will make his next move. And I think what that's implying is like once he kind of interprets what he's understanding between the, uh, you know, between whatever he saw in Leonard's vision of, uh, of the unreconciled stars plus the Gnosis, if that adds any amplification to that understanding then whatever he does next is his own move it's time to end tonight's foolish theatrics right now you have no captive audience see and the way this guy just walks in like he owns the place the music gets high up you see his mask like clearly of con dude imagine this is dane's leaf's dad or some shit because he's got blonde hair like whitish blonde hair too he's wearing like a mask of some sort which kind of resembles that of like the royal knights dude imagine bro that'd be crazy that'd be insane if that's his dad hey mihoyo i know you're watching this okay all right put that down write that down okay you're welcome <laughs> 
I feel like it's Kaya's dad or Kaya's dad. It's someone's father. Okay. We just don't know who, but he looks closer to Dane just because Dane, like, hey, hey, he's got the, he's got a mask on his face, like an actual mask on half of his face. And his hair kind of is similar. I can't really tell right now because it's like dark. His hair almost looks white, but I could pass, that could pass for like blonde just by the lighting. But, um, I don't know. We don't know shit about Dane. You know, we know he's lived forever, but that could be the same for anybody who was from Conrea. Yeah. Maybe it would be more so Kaya's dad because Kaya is like, current Again. like uh but like i don't know also i'm assuming the person who like dumped him on the side of the road of the dawn winery was his dad and i don't know if he looked like this i don't know if we got to see what that man looked like the person who dropped kaya off at like the dawn wineries like the outskirts of mondstadt or whatever but i expect these mother if rosalind can live for 500 years and danesleaf can live for 500 years i expect all of these motherfuckers to be as old as conry's destruction so i know danesleaf was cursed or whatever to live that long but any of these people can probably manipulate their age we never saw him okay yeah i'm very i was confused about that i wasn't sure so all right so my mindset right now either someone related to dane's leaf or someone related to kaya be it their dad whatever the case might be that's what i'm going with right now this game's incredible i love it so much sacrifice be carved in ice Bruh. this this image goes so fucking hard dude look at it this is like the most fucking badass thing in all of genshin one two three four five six seven eight nine senora would be 10 so who's the missing oh scott Amuch. i'm an idiot he's literally not here okay anyways don't mind me i'm literally dumb all time in the name <laughs> of your majesty the tsaritsa Mm. Seize authority from the gods. Yo, I'm ready for it, bro. I'm so excited. I can't wait for Celestia to get their shit pushed in just to see how that all goes down. They're gods. They don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm definitely not going to feel pity for, for them more than, you know, the Archons or even the people of Conry. I'll feel more sympathy for, for them, but I don't really know how the how the gods of Celestia operate necessarily. Ah, <coughs> oh, Zapoliani Palace. Absolute peace. Such is the gift from the Tsaritsa. Such is Her Majesty's benevolence. God, this is so fucking hype. So high rest in this coffin, encased in layer upon layer of ice. Ah, but Rosaline, I promise you, your final resting place will be the entirety of the old world. <laughs> God, this music goes so hard, dude. I love I it. Say, you're looking very young today, Doctor. You know very well that mm. I do not take that as a compliment. He's old so, as fuck. Where's the segment in the prime of his life then? He's busy with a little experiment in blasphemy. I'm so excited for fucking Sumeru, dude. <laughs> Kali's there too, man. To I'm control. so excited. Ah! Okay, Master Tainari. Dude. She's got a dendro vision. That? She's having visions as well. No pun intended. Fuck, man. There's so much. There's so much. There's so much. They really just dropped all fucking harbingers and teased what's potentially going to be the next conflict of Sumeru with, with, with Dotore and Kali from the manga. Like, bro, we are eating good, man. Mihoyo knows. Mihoyo's hyping us up before the fucking trailer even. Like, they're showing us all this shit now. Like, imagine what that live stream special program is going to be like. That's going to be nutty. It's going to be so crazy. Yeah, free game, by the way.